Demi Lovato is set to release her seventh studio album and very soon. But after songs of hers allegedly leaked online, fans are seeking out clues in her lyrics that seemingly throw some major shade towards Nick Jonas. What's up you guys? It's Susan Wyatt here with Clever News and we've got some seriously hot tea to kick off your week to a wild start. Demi Lovato's new album is underway as she's been releasing new music slowly but surely and just as fans are eager to hear what Demi's been cooking up, others apparently couldn't wait any longer and have leaked the titles and lyrics of some of her upcoming tracks. One track in particular called Ain't No Friend is raising speculation about Demi's rocky friendship with the Jonas Brothers, particularly her relationship with Nick Jonas, as fans have been pointing out the lyrics suggest a major falling out. In the song, Demi throws some not-so-subtle references and clues that suggest that Nick was the main source of inspiration. So let's break it all down, shall we? The lyrics in question read, It was all good back when we were working for the Big Mouse. We were best friends, family and everything in between. Never thought you'd be the enemy. You ain't no friend of mine. Your love was a lie. You ain't no friend of mine. You left me there to die. It was a sad day when I realized that the loyalty was only going one way. All thanks to a Reddit thread that's gone viral, the lyrics have been broken down. And simply put, the shade is alive and well. But really quickly, let's break down Demi and Nick's relationship timeline for those who need a quick refresher. The two started working for Disney, aka The Mouse, when they starred in Disney's Camp Rock together back in 2008. She returned for the final Final Jam film in 2010, which was the same year that she and Joe also dated for a month. Demi and Nick were pretty much inseparable after their massive rise to fame, dropping a song called Avalanche in 2014 and even taking on the Future Now tour together in 2016. Demi hinted at a falling out in her 2017 song Ruin the Friendship when she nodded to cigars and guitars and thinking we should cross the line, to which Ellen DeGeneres even attempted to get the truth out of Demi. Something that I will always um, keep to myself is who I write my songs about. I see. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's probably about him, but and so. <laughs> However, in 2018, things took a turn when Demi suffered a near-fatal overdose and Nick married Priyanka Chopra, giving no mention of an invite to Demi at his wedding. Hence the lyric in Ain't No Friend that reads, You ain't no friend of mine, you left me there to die. So it's safe to say these two are currently not on speaking terms, but even more lyrics are hinting at a major falling out. In another line of the song, Demi sings about not having a safe house, which is the name of the record label she and Nick were both signed to and co-owned with their then-manager Phil McIntyre. She also sings the lyrics, took you on the road, showed you some love, let you play me. Crashing down like an avalanche, this is our future now. I don't even have to point out the obvious, in that future now and avalanche referred to the name of their combined tour and duet. Fans have been weighing in on social media with their thoughts on Demi's dig towards Nick. Like one user who wrote, that Demi Lovato leaked song was such a blow to Nick Jonas. Like future now dig and safe house records dig, I understand music is an outlet for people to vent frustrations and heartbreak. Others weren't exactly thrilled with the lyrics and quickly came to Nick's defense saying things like, Demi Lovato made an alleged diss track to Nick Jonas where she alleges he left her out to die. She needs to focus on her recovery. You can't expect someone to be there for you and not live their life. You left you out to die. Your addiction is yours and yours alone. Many will recall that this isn't the first time Demi has allegedly shaded a Jonas brother. Back in 2019, Demi seemed pretty displeased with the guys when she liked a bunch of posts on Instagram about them and her ex-boyfriend Wilma Valderrama, including this one from a fan that read, Wilma with new girlfriend Nick and Joe Jonas. Yes, Demi stay away from these fake people. She also liked another post that said, Demi has every right to be mad. You can't tell me different. Over 10 years with these people and this is the treatment she gets back? Over six years sober and as soon as she slips up, they decide they don't want to deal with her anymore. You can't tell me she's supposed to let it go. The verdict is out as to whether or not Demi will include the song on her upcoming album, but we can only imagine the debate to come if it actually is released. Be sure to weigh in with all of your thoughts on these song lyrics and Demi's alleged feud with the Jonas Brothers right here in the comment section below. And for more Demi news, click right over here for a hilarious secret she's been keeping for 10 years. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.